Hi everyone, Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I have a quite of a different uh, build for you guys because I've been building a lot lately in the new world that we got with the horse wrench expansion pack, but I just missed building something modern and I decided to build something here in Newcrest. Um, I just wanted to build a family home and yeah i just want to address first of all that if my voice sounds weird it's maybe because i may or may have not have caught a cold <laughs> yesterday because it's been raining quite a lot here it's winter so yeah there's gonna be like a few days of pouring rain and yesterday i decided to go visit my parents and i got some new uh, pictures of my Funko Pop collection uh, so I brought some of them with me and I went to the park and started taking pictures of them in the rain so yeah I may or may have not caught <laughs> a cold <laughs> so yeah if it sounds weird for some reason it may have been because of that but yeah I just wanted to build something nice as I said something modern I missed it a lot and I took the inspiration from a picture that I saw on Pinterest and uh, I just went with it and built something that it's really right up my alley, that it's modern. And yeah, I liked it a lot. I'm really, really happy with the end result. It took me a while because uh, if you follow me on Instagram and also if you uh, checked out the channel, um, the community channel, I posted yesterday that I wasn't feeling so well, but it's mainly because I haven't been sleeping quite well lately. Uh, I've been just waking up in the middle of the night because of my cats or maybe because of the noises that my um, neighbors may uh, make because they do make a lot of noise during the weekdays and also work has been kind of um, a lot lately. I've been working quite a lot and I, you do know that I do have a full-time job, like a real job. Um, YouTube is not my full-time job. So yeah, there's a lot going on and I work from nine to six and when I finish my work day, it's just like I don't feel like standing in front of the computer because I do work from home and I work in a computer all day long. <laughs> so yeah, I just have been a little bit tired lately but uh i anyways i still built this house and i said in one of my videos i don't remember exactly in which one that i wasn't gonna be building something so big because it took me a while to finish editing as well the um farmhouse that i built like this big farmhouse that i built last week and here i am building a really big family home <laughs> once again and um i'm gonna just tell you a little bit about this house because i wanted to build with platforms i've been missing platforms and modern builds with platforms i think they look so well so i just decided to embrace platforms now and um i just wanted to build modern as i said but i wanted it to be colorful and with a lot of patterns as well and i know it's kind of different from a regular modern build because modern style tends to be really clean and polished and with not so many patterns and not so much decoration and stuff but for some reason i'm not feeling the kind of minimalistic style i just wanted to go all with it and just build something that felt nice and felt well and felt um, like I wanted to build it <laughs> so you see that I used some um, wallpaper in here from uh, I I don't remember what which pack we got that wallpaper the triangular one I think it was ring home decorator but I don't remember and some colors and stuff and I was trying to add a lot of pink uh, accent things in here and you will see that I struggle here in the kitchen because of the fridge I have been loving the new uh, fridge and stove that we got with growing together but I've been trying to use it in different color swatches and not going with the default one because that and the green one are the only ones that I use so today I used the black fridge and I think it looks so good I really liked it I wanted to decorate as I said a lot and use colors I actually tried to use the pink swatch because as I said I'm trying to use pink in this build for some reason and I don't know if I said it or if I just thought about it but 
you know now <laughs> the accent color like the maintenance accent color that i used in this build is actually pink you know that i don't like pink that much but i just i don't know i try to embrace it in a modern style and i think it ends up looking really nice um here in the kitchen i created this section in here that I created before in another build and I mentioned it that I saw it this kind of style like decoration for the coffee machines and stuff on, on uh, TikTok actually a lot of people have been uh, uploading videos showing how they restock their like coffee areas and stuff and they look like those shelves and I really liked it I think it ends up looking really nice and I added that shoot in there like the trash shoot I don't know the name of it but instead of a regular trash can because i didn't know where to put a trash can i didn't want to put it like next to the fridge it it would have looked like not so good i didn't want to use it in there so i decided to add that one in there and when you have the trash chute i think you don't need like a trash can outside of your house i still added one but i think you don't need one because they work like the as the trash cans from the apartments and you don't need those but i just added it anyways here i created like this kind of a um cutting board or something to put some pieces like some decoration on top of it i still have to play test this build because i haven't had the time to play test it so i don't know if this table in here is gonna mess up with the uh, stove hopefully it's not gonna do it but if it does uh, you just need to move that and that's pretty much it but this house the shape of this house was actually really really weird i i wasn't sure how to do like the, the layout on the interior i wanted it to be really open because it's a modern style house and i wanted to have this area in here as the living space because it has the most windows so i wanted to have like a big open area and you can see that outside of the windows in here there are another windows <laughs> so it's gonna be another sitting area in there i don't remember if i keep that part of the video because the video is already quite long i wanted it to be a little bit shorter but i don't remember if i if i show you how i decorated that part but it's gonna be a sitting area so you have a sitting area in front of the living room and it ends up looking really nice i think and i went for this um couches from growing together i haven't used them that much but i wanted to go for a modern style that also had some cushions and stuff and those ones looked really nice i didn't want to go for another like base game ones because the base game ones that we have the modern version of them i don't like them they look so so like not comfortable at all <laughs> um so i like these ones better and i think it ends up looking really good i like adding more like curved items to my interior in the in the modern builds i think it breaks up a little bit with all these structures and everything that you have in a modern house so adding these kind of rounded couches i i like them a lot <laughs> i added some poofs in here as well because i didn't want to i didn't know exactly what to do with this section i wasn't gonna add a piano or anything like that because why would i <laughs> it wasn't that big of a space in here i tried to embrace the pink swatch in this uh, rocking chair i just couldn't make it work i tried my best but you see that there's some uh, pink triangles in the wallpaper and yeah i think i didn't show so much of a pink swatch accent color in here but i think it ends up looking really nice as well and the poofs are kind of um peach pink something like that and this is one of the two bathrooms this house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms so there's a full bathroom downstairs in here and there's another full bathroom upstairs with the bedrooms and i wanted it to look like i don't know like a modern bathroom that people use but still you keep it really clean and everything because um maybe guests come to this bathroom as well because it's on the main floor so yeah i just wanted to have like a full bathroom but not so much of a decorated one the other one actually has more decorations maybe there's three bathrooms in here no i'm pretty sure there's only two bathrooms in this house i don't remember i'm sorry uh, my head is all over the place but this is an office area that i created i didn't have a specific family in mind when i created this house so i don't know if there's a sim that's gonna work from home or maybe if they're gonna need like this much space but once again i struggled in here because of the couch i wanted to use something pink i i was thinking that if 
pink was my accent color I needed to add some pink in every room and the couch was just throwing me off I wasn't sure I was gonna use the pink swatch but this one uh, the white one with the um, with the uh, green blanket I didn't like it so I ended up keeping the pink one I I think it ends up looking really good I think it grew on me <laughs> this is the main bedroom I didn't add any accent walls wall colors like wallpapers or anything like that in this uh, bedroom because the windows are just so much and you see it here we have like these windows from uh, jungle adventure we have the other ones that are i think they are from eco lifestyle the plain ones so i didn't want to add any accent colors because we have a lot going on in the windows already and yeah the pink is here as well it's present again in the chair that I added from Parenthood and also in the accent tables like the nightstands the metal color it's kind of a pink one and also the rug so yeah I kept on adding more pink swatches in here um I really liked it <laughs> this bedroom looks really good even though the shape of it is so so weird I never decorated a bedroom with this shape weird like um weird shape that's it before but i really liked it and this bedroom is for a kid i thought that this would be for a girl that is all over like pink like she really loves pink and uh, of course she has this accent wallpaper in here that came with uh high school years i think and i tried to select rugs that i would use i ended up using this one with this other one from growing together like the the sheep one is from growing together and the other one is from the industrial loft kit it's actually one of my favorite rugs i really liked it and i thought that maybe this kid actually had a fish in here and um maybe she's into animals but also into crafting because she has a lot going on in her desk the bedrooms took me a while to try and make them look like more modern also the other bedroom that's next to this one uh it took me a while i don't think they look so modern like like modern in a way that i wanted them to look but i still think that they look really nice and they really match with the rest of the house so i'm really happy with this and also every time that you have like kids rooms and stuff they don't usually look exactly like the rest of the houses like you have your kids maybe they choose what they want to have in their bedrooms or i don't know i don't have kids but <laughs> uh, maybe they just decide what they want to have in their bedroom and maybe the styles and everything maybe they just didn't like more modern stuff and they went for something more suburban or classic but yeah so i didn't pay that much attention to it i just decided to um embrace a color scheme that i was going for and just decorate this bedroom in a nice way that looked like for a kid and i think it uh worked really well <laughs> also because of the wallpaper that is so so busy i didn't add that much decorations to the walls but i created this section in here with these um modular pieces from uh, dream home decorator i had a lot of clutter on top of them because it's a kid and kids tend to have a lot of stuff like toys and boxes with different stuff maybe things from uh, school and stuff like that so i just decided to embrace that and add a lot of decoration on top of that and there's gonna be a high chart in here as well and that's gonna be it for this bedroom and we're going to work on the other one then this is for a i was thinking for a teenager not specifically uh the gender but it's gonna be a dark one i use this bed from high school years it's a really nice one i didn't want to use like darker wood tones but i actually worked better with the um with the bedspread swatch and also it matches really well the accent wall that i added in here so this uh teen is actually into um he, they're more geek than um uh, the other kid so they have a console table in here like a console player i'm sorry uh, my english is just not working today i as i said i haven't been sleeping well lately but i think you can see what i'm doing <laughs> so i added the laptop in here they're into video games and stuff and they're gonna have a proper computer like a gamer computer as well because of course the um the laptop that i added in here it's not functional unless your sim grabs it and puts it into their inventory and that's the only way that's gonna work and i actually had to place it again because for some reason it got deleted so hopefully now that this build is already up on the gallery it's not gonna get deleted 
hopefully, because I did have to add it again. <laughs> and I struggled a lot with the dresser in here. The woods didn't match anything. I didn't want to use this dresser because it doesn't look so modern. I ended up using it anyways. And of course, every room has something pink and this bedroom is no exception. So they have this um, lamp from Growing Together, I think. And the like it has pink so i decided to go all over with it and just use it and as i said this uh teenager is kind of a geek maybe so they collect a lot of stuff i try to base it a little bit of myself not on the color scheme precisely but on the decorations that i added because i do collect a lot of stuff <laughs> um if you saw my uh if you ever seen my like my living room i have like three big shelves full of funko pops so i do collect them and i try to create like uh something that was similar to my aesthetic or something that i do have in my apartment right now and uh yeah they end up having um a proper like gamer pc i added this one uh, my brother has a, a screen that's like that and i get dizzy every time that i use it so that's not the ideal computer for me but it's the best one that i found for this teenager and this is the the other bathroom that i mentioned it's kind of small but it's bigger than the other one i'm pretty sure and yeah i decided to keep both bathrooms just just because <laughs> i just didn't want to uh, cut anything because this one is more decorated than the other one so yeah i just decided to show you a little bit more of the bathrooms and how i am trying to improve my bathroom decoration skills <laughs> and having something different every time that i decorate a bathroom because at least for me bathrooms are the most boring rooms to decorate they all have the same items and you don't need to add more stuff so trying to be creative with bathrooms is something that i've been working on uh, you can see that on tiktok and also on instagram that i do um, make videos of it and i show you bathrooms and for some reason every bathroom that i decorate is more popular than any other rooms in the house that i decorate so maybe a lot of people are struggling with bathroom decorating and stuff and i did show you this area so i added this um uh this couch in here another lamp and a table and that's pretty much it i didn't add anything much like another yeah this puff and that would be it and now we're heading to the exterior there's a car in here i also added two bikes one for the kid and the other one for the teen and the exterior took me a while to figure out i have to be honest i wasn't sure what to do because this is a big lot i think this is a 30 by 20 or a 40 by 30 i'm not exactly sure but the landscaping when i do modern builds that's a struggle for me i don't always know how to landscape so i decided to use this bush uh this is not a debug item so it may have increased the value of the house only because i used that uh that bush but uh, i think it was the perfect item that i could have used i tried to center the archway in there and then i realized that uh the like the fence got deleted so i had to make the um the backyard a little smaller but you can see that it's so so big and i had this pool here in a platform uh it's a platform i no it's not a platform it's a foundation i just raised it up and i created like this pool area in here first i wanted to uh have it like um i don't know how to say it but i created like a platform and i lower it down so i wanted it to be like in a hole or something but it didn't look good i didn't know how to make it work so i ended up raising it up and just um i think it ends up looking really well and i think it looks better than my original idea so i'm really happy with that i added a games table in here as well so in case your sims wants to want to come and just play a little bit outside because um the summer in Newcrest is really nice. And I'm pretty sure this is not even Newcrest. I'm pretty sure I built this in Oasis Springs now that I see it. <laughs> yeah, I did build it in Oasis Springs. I'm really sorry, guys, if you thought like at the very beginning that you realized that this wasn't Newcrest and it was Oasis Springs and you were already screaming at me. I'm really sorry. Now I realize that it's Oasis Springs, <laughs> but it's green and yeah. Um, I remember that I chose this lot because of the Oasis right behind it, so my bad. 
I'm really embarrassed now and I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I created also this pool house in here. There's gonna be only a kitchen area, like a kitchenette, because I didn't add a stove in here. There's only a mini fridge. I mean, I didn't add an oven. I added a mini fridge and a stove and also a table and a couch because I just thought that maybe every time that they wanted to, I don't know, have, have um, a meal outside or they had like a pool day or something, they could just come in here and eat a meal instead of going inside of the house and getting everything wet and whatever. They can just come in here and relax. And there's a... Um, a skylight as well in here you can see that the light comes from the ceiling as well i wanted to add a fan on the ceiling but uh, because of the uh, skylight i couldn't make it work so yeah there's no uh, there's no any like uh ventilation system behind besides the windows here from eco lifestyle that are on the right side of the um build right now some decoration pieces in here because it was looking really boring and uh, yeah that couch from perfect patio i don't know i don't remember the stuff packs names <laughs> but yeah there's a trash can in here as well i uh, added add that one from eco lifestyle because it's my favorite and i'm gonna be adding here a section for the kid to play in so there's a sandpit in here with this um item that i don't remember the name of a tent or something from a grow uh, oh my god dream home decorator some toys as well and yeah i didn't show you in the video but i added like a grill section as well you will see it on the screenshots but yeah we're in the front of the build now and i didn't do that much besides of this and um i think that that's pretty much it i'm gonna be grabbing the bikes in a few seconds as well i added some palm trees because there's a lot of palm trees in here because it's always in springs and it's not new crest <laughs> now that i know of uh but yeah we're actually heading to the end of the video now i'm gonna be doing more landscaping that's gonna be pretty much it so i hope you guys liked it and if you did please remember to like this video also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye Tomorrow maybe Ooh, I'm feeling down So can you be my cure Say can I, can I, can I, can I, can I get yours Can I get yours Say can I, can I